So uh, basically this video is about this uh, gymnast who has just gotten injured. Um, the news is covering this story and it is not something that normally you would think would be headline news material. Although you could say this is like the number one star in the Olympics. But you kind of see this is lining up towards something. And my hunch is that this will be the new, a new model uh, for the transgender community. Um, you know, I had no knowledge about this person until, uh, you know, this recent news injury. And upon looking up on the internet in the library, um, you know, the first reaction was, is this a is this a man you know it looks like a man you don't want to insult people right but you have all this strange stuff happening around you and you know it's like with lady gaga and you know these other characters that you know are not what they pretend to be so you have to wonder is this another one of those. Now, we know there's a push to have the children, you know, play sports for whatever team they decide they like to change a sex to. And we're thinking this is very, very weird. Like, you know, what do you do when you have a seven foot tall man that decides to be to, to, to call himself a woman and you know he's going to dominate the court what 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 becomes a sport do you have a new league that says no these have to be born with the vagina you know it's just the world is collapsing it's going away the revelation tells us Satan's wrath is so great that he is moving at lightning speed. Um, the future, you know, many things may be uncertain, but of a certainty, uh, we will see this acceptance to change the children. You know, and, and, and when you say to the kid, you can become you can do this kind of surgery and make yourself look to be another creature, you're also opening the doors for the young girls to have breast implants, butt implants. You know, similar to the role of, not, not uh, Jane Doe, the Jane Doe case set the way for pornography. Most people, you know, relate it to um, the abortion. You know, so when these people say, hey, this is acceptable, let's not take away from the kids their chance to enjoy their life and be on the other team. You know, I, I grew up in an era where you didn't join the other team, unless it was a small school and it was co, co-ed, but that was acceptable. You know, I don't want to say much for my life, but I think that it didn't take away from a lot of people's lives. Now, all of a sudden, it's it's something that's hurting people. You know, so that's the pretextual cloak. You know, to push the agenda, of course, these people that claim to be against it are really not against it. If you think that they are, you may ask them, where are they? You know, when the BLTG parade is in town, where are these people that are so opposed to the BLTG? Um, did they not see that this is going through unless something's done about it? And if they're the ones that are opposed to it, then they may be the ones that are responsible to do something about it. 
But typically, these kinds of people will sit behind closed doors and t- t- tell other people, like themselves, how they feel or they, how they claim they feel. But are really not willing to risk their life or inconvenience themselves even uh, to make a stand. You know, uh, homosexuality was, was always wrong. Now, when you tell people that they can change their body, this is, it's, it's gone wrong. You know, blasphemy is the word to describe this homosexuality. Now, when you change your body, this is a, a form of blasphemy that is, you know, how could you forgive? You know, the scripture teaches us that we will not be forgiven for blasphemy, 